Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you're well. My name is Nick and we're looking at another homebrew on the ZX Spectrum 128K. This is a shooter called Red Shift. Yes, published by World XXI Soft Inc, which I suppose is World 21 Soft Inc in 2019. Uh, they are based in Argentina, I think. This is a one player shooter and the game is written by Ariel Ruiz and Richard Armijo. So we'll see how this goes. It's a remake really of Galaxians 3 for the competition ZX Def MIA. A Remax Remakes 2018. We've already reviewed a game from that competition called Manic Pietro, which is rather splendid, so I'm hoping this is of the same quality. Now, this is being played due to a recommendation, so if that was you that recommended it, well done you. Uh, let's see if it's any good. I do like this music though, I do like this presentation, but anyway, you might have been reading a bit of this story, but uh, humans are against, well, aliens or another race, and they're trying to overtake the world. We're sitting in a lone uh, a ship, and we must uh, blow up everyone, right? We're going to do this on the joystick, uh, enter is for bombs, if you hit L, you can launch a support drone, so let's go. Do, do. Right, so we've got the easy universe, the normal universe, and the hard universe. Let's go for the easy universe, so we can see a bit of the game. So there's a universe called NNZ Bradionic. Hooray for us. It's divided into separate, separate uh, galaxies in the universe. So here's Galaxy 1. If I can get off the first galaxy, well, that would be a big bonus miracle. So here we go, out of this tunnel. It was a bit like, um, reminds me of Battlestar Galactica, this actually, this little bit. This is a good animation. We'll let this run. Right, so, you see my stats on the right column there. Um, I the ship is my shields, I think. So, shoot everything. Oh, it moves quite well. Good. And I do like the sounds. Uh, it's got a bit of a monochrome to it. I suppose these are uh, power-ups we need to collect of some description. They might help build the shield. So, shoot everything. Avoid getting hit by stuff. And um, I think there's an ender level boss um, at the end. I don't know where they put it anywhere else. Anyway, let's go. Right. I would like an extra bit of I would like an extra bit of colour here. It's not playing too badly so far. Um, it's good that there's easy, middle, and difficult modes. And uh, yeah, the monochrome is divided up by these backgrounds. As there's Saturn there. Oh, I think it's Saturn. And there's a power up, a special wing thing. So there we go. So we've got a right wing for an extra bit of fire. Do check out my shields in green in the right, if indeed I think that's what they are. I do like that thing coming across. Good, good. There's a bomb there. Uh, we can release that by doing enter, and I think that's like a smart bomb that blows out everything on the screen. If you played this, let me know. I don't think many of you would have seen this one. 2019, and it's a rather splendid shooter. If it had come back out in the day, like the 80s, uh, it would have blown everyone away, like a lot of these homebrews tend to do. Right. So, I'm doing quite well here, aren't I? So, you know, for people that are rubbish at vertical scrollers, like I'm one of them, you can get quite a bit of playability straight away. There's another bomb, I think. But then, if you get too good, then go for the more difficult universe. So this is galaxy number one in easy, easy universe. I wish I lived in the easy universe. I think I live in the complicated one. Which one do you live in? Comment below. Do, 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 do. I do like a good shooter. Uh, a lot of them are, are too difficult, really, um, you know, but the ideal one is uh, a bit like this, but then with bold colours in and not quite so monochrome, but it does change every now and again. I think if this got re-released on the Spectrum next, you'd have quite a, a mighty shooter game, but it plays brilliantly, one has to say. Uh, sound effects as well, and music in the game at the same time. It's an impressive feat. So, another good one. Right, there's a power up there. Get that. Mm. You can take a, a, bit, a few hits, but then you start losing bits of your ship. If you lose all of it, you've had it. There's a red bar underneath... Oh, I've lost the shield there. There's a red bar underneath the, the greenness of it, underneath the score. If it, that flashes, it's imminent death. Well, am I going to get off the first stage here? I'm taking a few hits now and again. Shields are regenerated to a certain degree. Go, go, go. I'll have to try the hard universe. I think I'm ready for it now. The hard universe. I think there might be, I feel something from a screenshot somewhere, uh, an asteroid storm to get through at some stage. So the game does have quite a lot of variety to it. I would say, track this one down, it's another good homebrew. Um, I think that was a C for copyright sign, wasn't it, coming through? Oops, I've taken a bit hit to the back wall. Just one level of shields left, no shields left. Another hit and I think I'm doomed. It's with the red bar is flashing. Oh dear, we're a bit exposed. Let's see what that does. Right, what? Two wings. Good. There's a way of varying that firepower, I think, as it all goes a bit red. Yeah, I'm liking these, these colour changes. 
desperately need some shields. These power-ups don't seem to be doing too much. But quite easy to avoid stuff if you're skilled. Oh no! Lost a wing. Oh man, there must be an end of level boss soon. This this stage is going on for yonks. It's going on for yonks and yonks. So you will get your playability there. Right, is this going to be end of level boss? We're back into open space again. Now it goes into white. Maybe it's like, maybe it just goes on for Ah, end of level boss. Right, here we go. Hmm, it's going to take a bit of working out. There's spits that are flashing on here, so I suppose we have to shoot those. What is this thing? It's not moving about. It's just like some central fortress or some central base. Well, I've got one shield left. The shield's regenerating. Now, up to two. Oh, it's gone down to one again. Oh, no shields. One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, no. And so, the red shift's failure. Uh, humankind was wiped off the in out of the entire universe. Well, you know. We had a good run, didn't we? Hmm. Red shift. That's the name of the ship. There's sort of like AI, and they put a human in the AI ship. I think that's what's going on. But we're going to do the hard universe now. Because um, I, I made such a mess of the easy universe. What can go wrong with a hard universe? I wonder if it's going to be the same level, but just more things to fire. We'll soon find out. Stand by for launch. Go! Away we go. A lone ship in outer space. Right. Gun's working again. It moves quite quick at the start there. Yeah, there does seem to be more things firing at you. I think it's moving at the same speed going forward, though, and the premise is exactly the same. Pick up power-ups, don't get shot, blow up everybody else. It's a fun way to go. Ooh, what's that, a bomb? Ooh, was that a bomb I got hit by? No, I just detonated that. I think that was a waste. So, you can do the bombs for B. I've been hitting L every now and again. We're supposed to launch a, a drone, but don't seem to be getting that to work. But I'm glancing down at the uh, at the joystick as well, so, you know, and commentating. But you could probably get an extra bit out of this by pressing L. All right, power up, please. That'll do us. We're doing quite well on the hard universe as well. If you look at some of the really tough shooters, you, you like die straight away. This one, I've got a bit of oh, so, Having said that, my shields have been ripped asunder. Yay, regenerated the shields again. Boop, boop. Yeah, you definitely need your power-ups in this one. Do you know, I think I'm doing just as well in the hard universe as I am on the easy universe. It's, that's, that's what confidence can give you. These silly aliens, they never learn. I think they're all um, they're all robots, these aliens. And the idea is we've got a human in ours combined with AI technology to try and get a bit of an advantage. But unfortunately, the human they put in the ship is is uh, is is me. Oh, we're dead, are we? Oh dear. And so, with Redshift's failure, humankind was wiped out of the entire multiverse. Well, that's more than one universe. That's even worse than I thought. Right, we'll go. We'll have one last go on the easy mode again. See if we can get to the end and beat that baddie, and then we'll then we'll get out of here. So keep your fingers crossed. The first one was a test. Let's let's try and save one galaxy. If this is your galaxy, then uh, comment below. It doesn't say Milky Way. This is the M31 galaxy in Andromeda, which is the nearest galaxy to us. So if you're going to visit one, you're probably best off visiting this one. But I'm not sure what bus goes there. Maybe the number six. I'll have to check the timetable. Might take a bit of a while to get there as well. Some clever bod will comment in the comment section below how many light years the Andromeda galaxy is from us. I, I reckon it's more than two. I reckon it's quite a few thousand. Anyways, someone will comment. Maybe more than one. But we're off on a mission now. Right. It's, yeah, see? It seems a more, more casual easy mode compared to... Uh, the hard universe there's less things to shoot you so you know this puts it in perspective I, I'm more confident I can do this now the things firing at you well they're a little bit hard to see because they're the same color but they're, they're not moving at a super fast speed so you've got a um, chance to get out of the way which is handy I'm sure the alien race didn't think about this when they were designing it in the first place but well done them it's their flaw they've been too kind there's green Saturn if you've been there let me know right is it better than regular Saturn Good scrolling in this one as well. I like the way that Green Saturn disappeared beneath this place. Uh, I think this must be some massive starship, I suppose, rather than a planet or anything. Music is doing its own thing, but uh, equally alien sounding. Oops, crashed into that thing. Shields are two there. If you can remember my first go, you'll know how far we got, but I think it all went red a little while before. 
but at the moment we're still on the white bit of the first galaxy. Yes. Right. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do this now. I'm quite confident. I'm quite confident. In the bar on the, on the right, it seems to indicate two ships. I think as soon as you die, you've had it. That might just indicate drones. Two wings. Good. Maximum firepower for me. Right, I should be able to cope with these fellas. If I just hang back here. Don't uh, don't get involved with these these uh, super ships that keep coming up, Nick. Du, 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 du. Right, that, yeah, there we go. That's that, well, ship's gone up one there, whatever that means. You'll probably know. I've read I've read the instructions briefly, but these reviews are sort of like um, well, it's a bit new to the homebrews. Sort of like uh, if you had this as a kid, would there have been enough there for you to want to go back and play it again? If I had this as a kid, I would never would have left the house. And as I say, I say of all the homebrews, these are absolutely stunning. But this is on the 128k. I didn't own 128k. I just own the standard 48k the rubber keys uh, spectrum, so I wouldn't be able to play this anyway. But now, we're living in fantasy world, so let's say I, I, I would have played it. I would have played it loads. Right, we've all gone green. Super green. Music again is gone, it's like jazz, gone off the own thing as this, this, this crazy crab spaceship thing goes across. Right, and that's dead. Right, another, another ship, possibly. Up to four. I think that must be the drones I can release, which, um, you know, if I could reach down to the L button, I, I could launch them. So I'm, I'm doing it the most difficult way. Apparently the, the drones that you can launch have a limited amount of fuel, but they can't get affected by the aliens and they do a bit of shooting for you also. Which isn't a bad thing, is it? Right, shields down to one. This, yeah, this isn't going good. I wanted to, I wanted to complete this. My shield's not looking great at all. Right, I need to find a way to regenerate the shields because one more shot, I'm dead. Right, that's one shield done and we're into the red into the red here so this is the last section before the boss but I've got yeah, no shield again man yeah it's flashing red it's almost game over here oh I need a bit of luck shield's gone into one circle let's get it to two circles please then to three circles it does generally regenerate and we're out of the red section we're into two shields right it's the end of level boss coming up right so focus on one bit Oops. Come on, Nick. You can do it this time. Oh, what's that? I, I think I launched a bomb there. That's helped. Can I get that thing? Yes. Right, so the one explosion so far. I'm doing better than before, but still quite a lot to take out. It's, it's shooting at me, but not, not stuff that's uh, extremely difficult to uh, get out away from. Oh, how many shots does it take, though, to destroy this thing? If there's another explosion soon, I'll be... Oh, there we go. One more to get. Oh, we've got about three more to get. Right, two more to get. Just pummel it with maximum firepower. Come on, just, just destroy this thing. Uh, it's not going to blow up, is it? This massive toaster or record player. I see it. I've done it. Have I? There we go. There we go. The galaxy has been liberated by good old me. Well done, Andromeda. Send your thanks to me by email or in the comment section below if you're a member from Andromeda. Uh, hopefully you owe me one now. Maybe maybe you can donate some money to the channel to keep it running. It's a small thing for your freedom. Well, anyway, we're on to the next galaxy, still in easy uh, the easy universe. There we go. I don't know what that galaxy that is in the background. Maybe it is Andromeda, but we've gone off somewhere else now. Away we go. Same sort of like launch sequence. Stage 2. So I think there's quite a lot of stages in this in different galaxies or universes. Oh dear, oh yeah, they're a bit more tricky now. They stop on a dime. Yeah, the, the waves are a little bit more complicated. I'm loving this game. Um, I'd love to go through with a Pokemon right to the end, but I, I don't know any Pokes for this game. Um, they don't seem to publish them, the, these homebrews, the Pokes, that, that much, because I guess they want people to earn uh, the game. Maybe in 30 years' time there'll be Pokes everywhere. Whether I'm still doing reviews by then, I do not know. You never know, I might be. Right, an asteroid storm, I told you about that a bit later on, earlier on, didn't I? Right, avoid these. They're asteroids or meatballs or something similar. This is really well coded as well. They're coming at me at such a speed. A heck of a lick. Look at that. I like that effect there with the floor game, the horizontal there. That was quite cool. Uh, a good range of these enemy ships have come across. It's not always the same ones. Do, 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 do. I do feel like I'm in an alien landscape here. 
And as I said before, the speed of this thing is quite good. It is just a, uh, a vertical scroller uh, there, but they're, they're long levels. They're varied, uh, different colours. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is quite relaxing, this. Quite relaxing. Red shift, not green shift, not blue shift, not black shift. It's red shift, yeah? Right, well, I think my favourite space thing with the word red in it is Red Dwarf. A uh, very British uh, sitcom, that. Been going for, well, on and off for about, over, about 30 years now. David Lister, Crichton, the cat and Arnold Rimmer, and Holly, the ship's computer, every now and again. Check out that if you know nothing about it. It's a very British comedy, though. Right. So if you're into British humour, you'll probably like it. Boom, boom, boom. Well, you're watching this channel, aren't you? So it's a, it's a, good, it's a good chance. It's a good chance you would like it. There's that effect again. Horizontal, um, like, bee honeycomb thing going across. I don't know that's that special swimming pool. Right, get through here. We've got maximum wingage. That is indeed a word. Look at this ship. It's a rather cool looking ship. Are we gonna are we gonna liberate the second galaxy as well? I didn't know what galaxy this was. It's not Galaxy the Chocolate Bar, that is for sure. I think you should track this one down, really. If you had emulation or the real computer, or uh, yeah, either of those two really, or you can play it on your watch somehow and track it down. There's an emulator on the phone, I think, for the Spectrum. I don't know how you get this onto there, but anyway, there's clever people about they can do it. Let's shoot this diamond thing. Die, diamond thing, he said. No, it's 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 managed to get away. So on Easy Universe, you get a good run for your money here. Even if you're rubbish at vertical scrollers, and I've been I've been blown up. Even if you're rubbish at vertical scrollers, you're going to get quite a bit of distance in this. And it's a nice, fun game. Humankind, you wouldn't believe this, but humankind's been wiped out the entire multiverse yet again. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That's a really impressive shoot of that. So it was Redshift on the 128K, published by World XXI Soft Inc. in 2019. Um, yeah, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or homebrew or anything at all really gaming related, then please put that in the comment section below. Until next time, thanks for watching again. Take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.